All right, so our question was number five from review set 5b, and I'm just going to read out for you guys. So the graph of the function f of x equals x plus 1 squared plus 4. And it is translated two units to the right and four units up. So it's asking us to find the function g of x corresponding to the translated graph, and also to state the ranges of f of x and of g of x. All right, so I'm just going to draw f of x on the graph, on a graph for you guys, just to let you know what it looks like. And so basically what it is going to look like is it's going to be shifted left one, excuse the awful drawing, and up four. So its new vertice is, or its vertice is going to be negative one comma four. And we see this because we have a change happening directly to x. So something is happening directly to x here. We're adding plus 1. <laughs> so when you add something directly to x, you're going to see the opposite of it happen on the graph. So since we're adding plus 1 here, it's going to shift over left 1. So it's basically like adding negative 1, or subtracting 1. Um, and vice versa, you see the same with the 4, um, except for the fact that since it's not being added directly to x, it's outside of the parentheses. You, s you do what you see, so since it's positive 4, it's shifting up 4. Okay, so the next part of the question is it wants to find what g of x is. So g of x is equal to, and as it says in the question, it's translated two units up. Oops, sorry, to the right. And four units up. Okay, so as you look at the previous equation that's over here, you can see the x is translated 1 to the left. So in this case, it wants to go right. So we know that we ha it has to go the opposite direction. So x plus 1 is left. So we want to go two spaces to the right, which means it's x minus 1. And if you look at this part of the equation, it says um, that it's going up four, as you can see right here. And um, so it fits plus four. So we have to just add another four, and that's going to be a plus eight. So if we're just going to grab it right here. There we go. So we draw the previous one so that you can just see the difference. And then the new one, instead of having a vertice of negative 1, 4, we have a vertice of 1, 8. So 1 is 8. And it's going to draw it like this. And so the vertice would be 1, 8. And so the equation, as we draw sort of once, would be x minus 1 squared plus 8. Okay, and so then the next part of the question was it wanted us to find, or part B wanted you to find, or state the range of f of x. So this is pretty simple. You can just look at the graph and automatically tell. So state the range of f of x. And this, of course, is f of x. So as you can see, since nothing is below positive 4, the range is going to be y such that y is greater than or equal to 4. And it can be equal to because it's a closed dot, not an open dot. Okay, so for g of x, we can see directly from the graph right here that the range of g of x is going to be y, y is greater or equal to 8. And you can see that directly from the graph because there's nothing below 8 and it's a closed dot, as I said before, so you can't 